First, though, dive teams jump into action and into the water after a car vaults over a wall and into a pond. And troopers say the woman behind the wheel did not survive. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us. I'm Justin Mormuth. And I'm Kirsten O'Connor. And for Bridget Ellison, Sky 6 was over the scene near Celebration Boulevard and World Drive just northeast of Celebration High School. And that is where News 6's Ezzy Castro joins us now with details from investigators on how this all happened. To give you an idea of just how this crash happened, I'm five foot two. This is an eight foot wall and troopers tell us that driver was going at a high rate of speed and she went over this wall and landed in the pond. Crews towing this white sedan out of a retention pond on World Drive and Celebration Avenue this morning. FHP troopers say the driver, a 32 year old woman, was killed after she failed to stop at the intersection. She ended up hitting a curb, then vaulted over this wall. A dive team later discovered her body underwater. I don't know how that happened. I mean, you just turn one way or the other. I don't, I really don't know. Judy Straw walked over to see the debris that was left from the impact. She also remembers a deadly crash from 1999 where three tourists were killed after their car submerged in the same pond. Their bodies were found months later. Well, there was a bad accident that happened years ago and they that's why they put the wall up. It was dark and they went right in the lake and they all drowned. And you can see the speed limit here is 35 miles per hour. Now troopers tell us they're trying to figure out whether this was alcohol or drug related. In celebration, Ezzy Castro getting results, News 6.